Hey everyone, welcome to the second part of this video where I'm going to color this sketch with watercolor. If you have not watched the first video, you can watch it first. The link is in the video description below. So this second part is going to be a limited color palette video. I will be using the Mayan colors made by Daniel Smith for this sketch. The marketing text from Daniel Smith is quite interesting. So it says here that these colors used to adorn the murals and sculptures of the Mayan people. These colors have remained vibrant even when exposed to more than a thousand years of severe heat and humidity. And many of these colors, these Mayan colors, they are not totally light fast. So this has a light fast rating of 2 out of 3. So these are ancient colors that are now made with modern technology. So to use these ancient colors to color a modern cityscape, I think that's going to be pretty interesting. Let's start by swatching out the colors first. Let's start with Mayan yellow. This is PY223. This color is supposed to be transparent, non-staining and non-granulating. Looks like a warm yellow to me. Also looks like uh, Hansa yellow to me. Mayan yellow is very vibrant and definitely quite transparent. Next up we have Mayan orange. This is a new tube that I have just bought and I can see the binder it has separated from the pigment. So I'm going to remove the top part first. Let's squeeze some paint here. Now that I have removed the binder so this is a, rather than orange, this looks very red to me. Sort of like a pyro scarlet kind of red. There isn't any pigment information written on Daniel Smith's website for some reason. Next up we have Mayan Red. Oops, that's a little bit too much. This is PR287. I have removed that blob of paint. Now this color is supposed to be granulating. You don't get a lot of granulating rates. And the earlier color, Mayan Orange, it's not granulating. So this color it looks a bit on the cool side. Like a rose. Next we have Mayan Violet. This is supposed to be transparent, low staining. Granulating. This is PV58. So I can definitely see some sort of granulation. This is Mayan Blue Genuine. Seems like this color, the tinting strength, it's not that strong. So I need to use a lot more paint to get the intensity. This color is supposed to be transparent low staining and granulating and the last color it's Mayan blue dark this is PB82 so this is a much darker version this is semi-transparent low staining and according to Daniel Smith's website it says that it's actually non granulating but I can definitely see some granulation here Let's dilute this and take a look at the color. So these are the six colors. I'm going to create some color mixes as well. I'm going to create some secondary colors like orange, greens and violet and also create some grays using the six colors. So here's a mix of Mayan yellow and Mayan red, sorry, Mayan orange. Seems like we can get a very nice intense orange. And this is Mayan yellow with Mayan red, the somewhat cool looking red. So we can get some sort of um, skin tone. This is more pinkish. Let's have yellow and Mayan violet. Let's see if the violet can neutralize the yellow to give us a nice gray. So this is more like a, this is sort of pinkish as well. A bit more magenta. Mix Mayan yellow with Mayan dark blue. 
So this is the sort of green we can get. And now Mayan yellow with Mayan blue genuine. Mayan blue dark with Mayan red. I'm running out of space on the paper. I shouldn't have painted the first swatch that big. Mayan blue genuine with Mayan red. It's a bit more vibrant here because Mayan blue genuine, it's brighter. So this is how the Mayan colors and mixes look when dry. The colors, these four colors, they are quite intense. The Mayan blue is a bit muted. So any mixes that are created using these two blues, they are a bit more muted. So for my limited color palette, I'm going to pick these three colors. Now for the violets that can be mixed with the primary colors, um, it's quite muted, but they have a Mayan violet, which is lovely. Mayan red is really nice because it's not easy to find a granulating red and this granulation looks pretty nice to me. It has very beautiful textures and so does Mayan violet. Mayan blue also has some granulation. Now according to Daniel Smith, Mayan dark blue, this is not supposed to be granulating but I do see some sort of granulation. So when mixed with a yellow, you see, you get a green that is like this and I see some, some granulation, but it's not as obvious compared to ultramarine, of course. You know what? Maybe I will use all the six colors because they are all so lovely. So I'm going to paint the sky first with Mayan blue and Mayan dark blue. So I'm just going to use wet on wet techniques, have the dark blue fade into the Mayan blue and then fade into the white of the paper. We'll see how that goes. Let's use a light wash of Mayan blue, Mayan dark blue. So this color, it's definitely quite muted personally i like i prefer those bright and cherry blue you know the sky blue colors like cerulean when it comes to painting skies uh, when you have a bright cherry blue it sort of makes everything look and feel more uplifting so this is my own blue genuine When you have a blue that looks like this, these two Mayan blues, it makes things look a bit like um, a bit gloomy, a bit more serious. Let me pick up the excess paint. So let me just dab it. Low staining, so you can sort of pick up the paint if they are not dry yet. For the root, let's paint it with Mayan blue and a little bit of the Mayan red so we get this purple color oops a bit too much red let's add some yellow and see if we can neutralize this For the buildings, I will be painting with Mayan yellow and orange, Mayan yellow and Mayan red. So here maybe Mayan yellow and Mayan red. The granulating red. This buildings here. For this building on the left side, it's quite dark, so maybe I'm going to use my own dark blue.
this is a this is with a little bit of my violet Since there is no Mayan green, we have to mix our own greens. This is Mayan yellow and Mayan blue genuine. For the darker greens, it's going to be Mayan yellow and Mayan dark blue. For all these areas here, maybe a little bit of Mayan blue genuine and Mayan blue dark Mayan blue dark is such a such an intense color a very dark value color that you can use it to paint dark shadows very easily all these really dark areas I'm going to be painting with Mayan blue concentrated Mayan blue So now I'm going to mix the three primary colors together to get some sort of gray and also add more water. I forgot to draw in this, um, this building here, unfortunately. This building behind is actually in blue with a red top. Let's add some depths of colors here and there for the people waiting for their buses. This lamp post here, or this street lamp here, it's very dark. So I'm going to use Mayan blue, genuine, sorry, Mayan dark blue. So initially I wanted to just use three colors, but the dark blue, it's really convenient. I have just dried this with my hair dryer and now let's draw some details with the white gel pen. We will start here. Just some details will do. Let's see if we can create enough contrast with the white gel pen. I think this is all right. Now to get more contrast, I could have painted the building with a darker, more muted mix, but I sort of prefer this brighter color. Now this building has some um, circles, so let me just draw those very quickly. Some details here, vertical lines here as well, here as well. This is this building here. This is easy because this is just horizontal lines. Now this building here, again, it's supposed to be darker. So the white lines, they don't work as well. Oops, I should have drawn the white lines behind the black lines. There's actually a structure here, but it's difficult for me to draw with the white gel pen so I'm going to use white gouache instead seems like there are some additional details here and for this building at the back that I forgot to draw, draw earlier Probably should have drawn the black lines first, like horizontally, and then drawing the white lines to overlap. Because right now I am drawing those windows individually, which is quite tedious. So if you plan in advance, you can save some time, and also the effect is going to look better. Lastly, let's use the uni posca paint markers to add in some details I'm 
I'm just drawing the windows. We have some windows here as well. Let's see if I can add some drop shadows to help the yellow stand out a bit more. A bit more detail here as well because these windows they are quite detailed. So this is almost complete. Now I think the roads are a bit light, so maybe I just want to add an additional wash to the road to make it a bit darker. So this is the completed sketch painted with the Mayan colors. So Mayan yellow, Mayan orange, red and violet, they are incredibly intense colors. They really stand out against the muted Mayan blue, genuine and Mayan dark blue. And also when you use the Mayan blue to paint the sky, it looks a bit gloomy. And when you have the colorful buildings like this, the contrast, the feeling is a bit weird. So the sky here was painted with Mayan dark and then here Mayan blue genuine. Earlier on I said that Mayan dark blue, it looks a bit granulating, but here in this wash, it certainly doesn't look granulating at all. Now for this part here, you can definitely see the granulation and that's because of Mayan violet. So my violet is granulating. So here are the details. My dark blue is a very nice intense color for painting dark berry leaves. Concentrated Mayan dark looks almost like black. And this is great for mixing with yellow to produce those dark greens, the shadow greens. If you need lighter greens, you can use Mayan yellow and Mayan blue genuine. So the white lines looks like they can contrast nicely against the red background. This is the white wash. Looks like the drop shadows created by the black lines, they are working nicely to give the yellow more contrast. My own blue genuine. I love the granulation, the texture, and also my own red has very nice granulation as well. So you see here in this wash, you can really see some of the granulation from Mayan red. This is more like a peach, a flash tone kind of color. If you need the fire engine red, you would have to use Mayan orange. So when you mix the three primary colors together, you can sort of get this kind of gray tone. Or if you mix it with a bit, mix it with a bit more red, you get this brown light color. Initially, I just wanted to use these three colors, but then I couldn't help myself and went ahead to just use all the six colors. So yes, um, this is a pretty nice palette. I like it, except for the blues, which I feel are a bit more muted. So to make this palette a bit more versatile. I would probably add cerulean blue chromium because I think the brighter cherry blue would work better with these intense yellows and the reds. All right, so that's all for today's video. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.